until now you have learned a lot of things about four digit number and five digit number you have learned how to read them and how to write them you have learned about their place values but now in this video you are going to learn about many interesting facts of six digit number you will learn how to read them how to write them and their place value so the topic of this video is six digit numbers and their place value the page number that we are going to cover are 31 32 and 33 question numbers that we will be dealing in this video are question number 8 till question number 15 let's start the video now let's learn how to write a six digit number see an example 635089 can you concentrate on this number can you see how i have written over here i have written three numbers 089 and then there is a space then i have written 635 isn't it so this is the way you write your six digit number after three numbers from the right hand side you give a little space and then you write rest of your three numbers now let's see how to put this number in a place value table see the place values that you already know are one stands hundred thousand ten thousand now one new place value that you're going to learn is hundred thousand is hundred thousand and how do you represent hundred thousand you represent hundred thousand with a capital H capital T and small h so hundred thousand is a new place value that you're going to learn see in in the slide can you see down HTH is equals to hundred thousand is means H is for hundred and TH is for thousand now can you see the place value table very carefully I have written ones, tens, hundred and after that can you see a block left? Why this is over here? This is because ones, tens, hundred is one family and thousand, ten thousand and hundred thousand is another family. To separate both the families we will put comma between them. We will put comma between them but we will put comma so writing three digits from the right we write comma can you see the line over here after three digits from the right we write comma over here okay now there are some important and interesting facts about hundred let's learn see the last two points hundred always likes to be written alone 100 is a very special number. 100 do not want to be written with anybody else. We cannot share 100. 100 wants to be written alone every time. And what else 100 wants? We always write and after every 100. 100 wants to be written alone and after writing 100 we always write and. We will learn how to do this in our next slide and let's see what to do. Question number 8. Write the names of these numbers in verse. 6 digit number is given to us and we have to write this 6 digit number in verse. See part number A 672072. First thing is we are going to place the place values. 1s, 10s, 100, 1000, 10,000, 100,000. Now let's learn how to write them in verse. First digit is 6. The place value of 6 is 100,000. Remember the two interesting facts about 100. 100 always likes to be written alone and after every hundred what do we write we write and so see how we will gonna write it six hundred and now next two digits are seven and two seventy two what are the place values that are common in seventy two is thousand so six hundred and seventy two thousand now after that it is a hundred now the digit in hundreds place value is zero so we will not write zero over here because it does not matter to write zero or not after every hundred what do we write we write and so we will write and next two digits are seven and two I have told you that hundreds do not like to be written uh, with anybody else hundreds like to written alone but only hundred wants to be written alone all the other numbers can be combined see in the first we have written six alone and we have combined seven and two 
similarly zero and under the hundreds place value it was zero so we have not written and the next two numbers can be combined seven and two we will combine them and we will say it as 72 next part is five zero nine four five three place values are being placed one stands hundred thousand ten thousand hundred thousand first digit is five place value of five is hundred thousand we will write hundred alone and we will write and after hundred five hundred and we can combine rest of the two numbers that is zero and nine give you nine nine thousand five hundred and nine thousand now can you see a comma over here why have written comma remember told i told you after every three digits from the right hand side we put our comma we put the comma also when we write the number in word form so i have placed comma over here and then the number digit four under under the hundreds place value is four so we'll write as four hundred and we can combine the both the numbers 5 3 give you 53 509000 comma 453 can you see one thing that first letter of both the numbers are small 6 s capital small and f, f, f of 5 is small so whenever you will write in words the first letter should be small Question number 9. Write the numbers in figure. Question number 9 is exactly the opposite of question number 8. Let's see what is question number 9. Part number A. 206,366. Now we have to write these numbers in the figures. For this first step is write the place values. I have written place values. See. 1s. 10s, 100, 1000, 10,000, 100,000. Now I will read very carefully step by step and I will write my digits. 206,000. First is 200. So under 100,000 column what I will write 2 and 6,000. Over here be very careful. I am reading it again. It is 6,000. The 6 that we will going to write, we will going to write this 6 under 1000 column, not 10,000 column. Okay, we will going to write this 6 under 1000 column. We do not have any 2 digit number to fill up the space of 10,000 column. So we will write 0 over there. Let's see until what we have done, 206. When we will read it, it will become 206,000. Next is 366 300 so under hundreds column but i will write 3 next is 66 now see over here i have two digit number that is 6666 so i will write 6 and 6 under tens and ones respectively let's see what we got 206 366 206366 now let's see part number B. 155,604. So let's start with the first. 100. So under 100,000 column what I will write? 1. And 55,000. Now I have 2 digit number. That is 5. 5. 55. So I will write 5 under 10,000 column and 5 under 1,000 column. 155,000. 155. 600. I will write 6 under 100 column. And 4. Now over here, see and read very carefully. I have only 4. That is 1 digit number. I will write my one digit number under my ones column. I do not have any number to put under tens column. So what I will do? Similarly like above, we do, did not have any number to write under 10,000 column. So we wrote zero. Similarly over here, we do not have any number to write under tens column. So I will write zero. 155604. Now read 155,600 and four that's it 
rest of the parts question number for 10. the homework write these numbers in thousands hundreds tens and ones what we have to do simply the numbers are given to us and we have to separate thousands hundreds tens and ones from that number and write it separately how see part number a 211589 211589 Simple first thing is write the place values 1s, 10s, 100, 1000, 10,000. Now first thing that they had asked in the question is write these numbers in 1000. So let's see how many 1000 do we have in our question. 2, 1, 1. Let's see the first three digits. All the first three digits are having the place value and all the place values are including 1000 in it. 2, 1, 1 are having 1000 in the place values. So we have three digits including 1000. That is 2, 1, 1. So see how we will write. We will write 2, 1, 1 and we will write thousands with it. 2, 1, 1, thousand. See the question. Next part they are asking is hundreds. See part number A. Which number is having a place value of 100? 5. So how we will write? 5 hundreds. Next thing they have asked is tens. Which number, which place value, which number is have, which digit is having place value tens? See 8. 8 is having place value tens. So how we will write? 8 tens. And last thing they are asking is ones. So which number is having place value ones? That is 9. So we will write 9 ones. So we have separated thousands, hundreds, tens, ones. Two one one thousands, five hundreds, eight tens, nine ones. See part number B. Again I have written place values. Same they are asking us about thousands, hundreds, tens and ones. So in this question similarly first three digits are having place value and the place value include thousand in it. So I will write my three six four with thousand. Three six four thousands. Next is seven and its place value is hundreds. So seven hundreds. Next is one place value is tens so one tens one again at the last and place value is ones so one tens three sixty four thousands seven hundreds one tens one ones question number 11 write the value of the circle digit in this question numbers are given to us and in the number a particular digit is circled we have to write the value of that circle digit see part number a six hundred and forty nine thousand seven hundred and sixty seven the number that is circled is nine First thing we're going to write is the place values. Ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. Now see the digit that is circled is nine. The place value of nine is thousand. We have two ways to write the value of the circle digit. See the first way. First is your digit that is nine and the place value of nine is thousand. So you will write nine thousand with whole spellings t h o u s a n d and the second way is to write in digits c nine three zeros that will give you nine thousand you have two ways to write the value of a circle digit c part number b eight hundred and ninety nine thousand four hundred and fifty six the digit that is circled is four and its place value is hundred so how i have written four with spellings hundred h u n d r e d hundred next the second form is four with two zeros that will give you four hundred 400 or 400 so these are the two ways in which you can write the value of a circle digit question number 12 write each number in expanded form let's see how do we write a number in expanded form part number a 152,796 the easy way I am going to tell how to write in expanded form Take the first digit of your number that is 1 over here. Now the rest of the digits that are 5, 2, 7, 9, 6. I am going to replace all these digits with zeros. 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. What I have done, I have taken my first digit and I have replaced rest of the digits with zeros. After doing the first digit, I will always put plus. 
see I have put plus now next digit is 5 now we are done with first digit we will not repeat our first digit now we will go to the second digit that is 5 now I will write 5 and for the rest of the digits that are 2 7 9 6 will be replaced with zeros okay now I have done with my second digit also what I will put I will put sign of plus now my next number is 2 I have done with my first two numbers 1 and 5 I will not repeat it now next number digit is 2 I will write 2 and the rest of the digits 7 9 6 are replaced by zeros I have done with my third number digit then I will write again sign of plus my fourth digit is 7 I will write 7 and rest of the digits 9 6 I will replace them by 0 next again I will put plus my second last number is 9 and the last number 6 I will replace it with 0 and again plus now we are at the last number that is 6 we will write this digit as it is 6 so see how easy was what I have done what you have to do is just to take digits by digits first digit and then replace rest of the digits with zeros then again write plus sign when you are done with the first digit then you will not repeat it after doing a particular digit that is done you will not repeat it and you will replace the rest of the digits with zero same with the case part b 318248 i have written first digit and replaced rest of the digits with zero then i have written plus sign then one I have replaced all the digits with zeros again plus then 8 replaced I have replaced all the three remaining digits with zeros plus 2 4 and 8 are replaced by 0 plus 4 and 8 is replaced by 0 plus 8 so this is the way you write your number in expanded form Question number 13. Look at these expanded forms and write the numbers. Exactly the opposite of question number 12. Let's learn the easiest trick to write expanded forms into the number. The trick is the number that is given to you. Pick first first digits of all the numbers and then combine those first digits and write them in the block. What I mean to say? See example number A. First number is 2000000. I have taken the first digit of this number that is 2 and I have written 2 in the block. My next number is 70000. I have taken the first digit of this that is 7 and I have written 7 in the block. Now my next number is 1000. I have taken the first digit that is 1 and I have written in the block. 27 now my next number is 500 I have taken 5 and I have written in the block next number is 5050 I have taken first digit that is 5 and I have written 5 over here in the block and my last number is digit is 1 so I will write 1 as it is so see what I have done I have taken the first first digits of all the numbers and I have combined and written over here but I got 271551 271551 similarly see part number B I have taken the first digit that is 8 and I have written in the block second number I have taken first digit 3 and I have written in the block my sec next number is 000 I have taken 0 the first digit and I have written in the block 4 or 400 I have taken first digit written in the block 2020 I have taken the first digit and I have written in the block my last number 9 I have taken the 9 and I have written in the block so 830429 830429 question number 14 fill in the symbols in this question Two number are given to you and there is a block between them you have to fill that block with the particular symbols given to you in the question before solving let's discuss some important points that will help us afterwards first point we always compare the number at left hand side to the number at the right hand side part point B firstly count the digits of both the numbers parts point number three start by comparing the first digits of both the numbers I will explain all these three points when we will do the sums later on 
Now let's discuss about the symbols. You have learned about these symbols in your previous classes. Let me tell you a trick to memorize them. See the first symbol that I have written. Does it resembles little bit with an alphabet L? Isn't it? Isn't it resembles with an alphabet L? And L is equals to less than. So the symbol that resembles with the alphabet L is the symbol of less than. And automatically the other number is a symbol of greater than. That is a small trick to memorize the symbols. Now, now let's come to the explanation. How will we solve it? See part number A. That is 302418 in the left hand side. And 402328 at the right hand side. I told you the point. The first point was count the digits of both the number. Let's count the number at the left hand side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 digit number. The number at the right hand side 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 digit number. So on both the sides I have 6, 6 digit number. Now second point that I have done, said to you was compare first first digits. So the first digit of the number that is at left hand side is 3 and the first digit of the number that is at right hand side is 4. Now tell me 3 is dash then 4 less than or greater than 3 is less than 4 so automatically the whole number at the left hand side becomes less than the number at right hand side so I have filled the blank with the symbol of left uh, less than that resembles little bit with alphabet L now point number B first step Count the number digits, 6 digit number at left hand side and 6 digit number at the right hand side. Second step, compare first first digit. Now over here the first digit of the number that is at left hand side is 4 and the digit at the right hand side is also 4. So now what we will do? Now we will compare second second digits of both the numbers. Now the second digit of the number that is at left hand side is 2 and the digit second digit of the number that is at right hand side is 1. Now tell me 2 is dash than 1. Is 2 greater than 1 or is 2 less than 1? 2 is greater than 1. So I have so now automatically the whole number at left hand side will become greater than the number at right hand side and I have filled the same block with the symbol of greater than. Now see part number E. First step that I told you count the digits. Now see the number at the left hand side are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 digits. And the number that is at right hand side are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Only 5 digits. Now tell me 6 digit number is dash than 5 digit number. 6 digit number is less than 5 digit number or greater than 5 digit number? Hmm? Greater than 5 digit number. So automatically the number at left hand side will become greater than the number right hand side. Okay. So these were the points that you have to keep in your mind when you solve these symbols. Okay. Question number 15. Write these numbers in ascending order. Before solving, let's have a quick recap on ascending order. See the diagram? Ascending order means going from smallest to largest. So ascending order means arranging the numbers from smallest to largest. Ascending order means arranging the numbers from smallest to largest. Some important points that you have to keep in your mind while solving this ascending order question are Firstly, count the digits of all the numbers. Second, compare first digits of all the numbers. If all the first digits are same, then compare the second digit of all the numbers. If all the second digits are same, then compare third digits of all the numbers and so on. I will explain these two points when we will solve the question. So let's solve the question. See part number A. Part number A you are given with four numbers. First is 34829, 34769, 
थ्री फोर नाइन थ्री टू थ्री थ्री वन नाइन नाइन वट वॉज द फर्स्ट पॉइंट दैट आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर इट वॉज काउंट द डिजिट्स ऑफ ईच नंबर सो लेट्स काउंट द फर्स्ट नंबर आर हैविंग फाइव डिजिट्स सेकेंड नंबर इज ऑल्सो हैविंग फाइव डिजिट थर्ड नंबर एंड फोर्थ नंबर आर ऑल्सो हैविंग फाइव फाइव डिजिट्स सो ओवर हेयर आई हैव फाइव 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 डिजिट नंबर विद मी नाउ हाउ आई विल अरेंज दैम इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर एज आई टोल्ड यू असेंडिंग मीन्स अरेंजिंग द नंबर फ्राम स्मॉलेस्ट टू लार्जेस्ट ओके फॉर दैट वट वॉज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट वी हैव डन अर्लियर वॉज start comparing first first digits of all the numbers so i will compare first first digits of all the numbers see the first digit is 3 3 3 all the first digits are same now i will compare the second second digits now see the second digit of first number is 4 second digit of another the second number is also 4 second number digit of the third number is 4 second digit of fourth number is 3 now tell me which is smallest all the first three numbers were having 4 4 4 as a second number but the last digit number is having 3 so what which is smallest over here four numbers or the number having 3 as a second so 3 over here 3 is smallest so the last number that is 331 smallest so i will write this number at the first 33199 now we are done with this number we are left with three more numbers okay now as all the second digits are also same now we'll compare the third third digits of all the numbers now see the third third digits are 8 7 and 9 now tell me which one is smallest between them 8 7 9 the smallest between them is 7 so the second number that is 3 4 7 6 9 becomes the second number to write so i have written my second number that is 3 4 7 6 9 after my 3 3 1 9 9 okay now we are also done with the this number now we are left with two numbers that is 8 and 9 so now tell me 8 and 9 which is smallest over here 8 or 9 8 8 is smaller than 9 so my third number will be 4 3 4 8 2 9 and the last number will be obviously 3 4 9 3 2 so this is the way to arrange your numbers in ascending order let's have an other example so you will be clear out if any query is in your mind so my part number d first point is count the digits so i am having 6 6 6 6 six digit numbers okay now second point was start comparing first first digits so my first first digits over here are 9 9 9 9 all are same if all are same then what we have to do we have to compare second second digits of all the numbers now second second digits over here uh, is also zero so zero 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 same now if second digit is also same then what we have to do we have to go to the third third digit now over here my third third digits are also same 1 1 1 now what to do now i will go to my fourth 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 digit now my fourth four digit in a sequence are 9 4 5 9 tell me out of these which is the smallest one i am repeating again 9 4 5 9 so which is the smallest one 4 so the second number that is 901459 will become my first number to write because we are arranging in ascending order and ascending order means to write in smallest to greatest so my smallest number will be 901459 now we are done with this number we are left with 959 now tell me out of these three number which number is smallest one over here definitely 5 so my second number to be written is 901594
Now I have left with two numbers, the first one and the last one. And fourth four digit of both the number is nine. Now I will go to my fifth fifth digit. I have fifth digit four and five. In the first number, I am having fourth fifth digit as a five and four in the last part. Now tell me five and four, which one is smallest one? Five one or four one? Four one. So my last number that is nine zero one nine four five will become my third number to be written, and the number that is remaining nine zero one nine five four is the largest and will be written at the last. So these are the points.